welcome to what I think is going to be, hopefully, a long series of videos about books that I got in this giant buyout. And the video of the whole hoarder buyout's coming. It just takes time to list, you know, 200 books a day and ship orders and do all that stuff. But this book here, so far over the first 300 books I've listed, this is the first one to give me some issues. So I'm going to share it with you and talk about why. Peter Pan, a new Thrushwood book. The story of Peter and Wendy, J.M. Barry. So this book, if you just go by what you see here, uh, it looks like it's from 1911, which would make it a very valuable book. That would be the first edition. I, I'm pretty sure that this, uh, in this form, that was the first year it came out. This new Thrushwood book is our first clue. So what this uh, what this means is this was used from 1948 until 1965. Uh, I just learned that researching on forums. If you go on eBay right now, the one active listing thinks this is a first edition book, the seller does. So they have it like 475. I was like, okay, that sounds too good to be true. I did some digging and yeah, actually, uh, for whatever reason, they, they reprinted the original copyright text from 1911 and uh, just gave it a new cover. And I think the reason is, is because in 19 late to mid 1950s Peter Pan the Disney film came out If I had to guess, even though the, they used this from 48 to 65, according to a few forum posts, which could all be the same information just being relayed again over and over again, uh, it's probably from the mid-50s. It has this plastic case on it that you usually see with ex-library books. Um, it's got the... Someone paid three bucks for it. It's got, like, the rough edges. So it, it is a cool book. Is it worth 500 bucks? No, unfortunately not. I have mine priced at 80. I think the market price, probably if there were more for sale, would be around $45, but it, there's one at 475, and then mine at 80 bucks. Um, definitely, I am open to lowering the price, but I think, especially when you have so many items and you're using like a volume strategy, it's not bad, not a bad idea to go really high initially, because you can always lower your price. But if you sell something, uh, you can't you can't ask the the buyer for more money after the fact. So just a quick little video about this book. Hope you found it cool and interesting, and I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, thumbs up, comment, subscribe.